I'm on the scoreboard. It wasn't clean. Actually, nowhere close to it, but... You know. It's still something. Mmm. What is this? I thought these lines in general were better for white, but maybe it has some concrete idea. Where do you go? Knight e4 or knight a4? I think you go knight a4. Yeah, both both players cameras would be nice indeed don't know um, I don't know how to do that and um, I actually set up the stream myself today that's why <laughs> that's why those things are not happening I don't know why he's playing this line, because generally white is just a little bit better. And I'm generally happy to to play endings against him. Knight d4. Rook c1, there's knight of 3. Queen of three, queen e seven maybe. Then queen e three. Looks a little bit better. Oh, he checks first. Yeah, so I should probably bishop b five. Bishop d seven, queen e two. Am I not a little bit better there? I think I am. It's queen e4 I can take, then bishop e3. And this king would not feel safe in the center, I would I would think. Queen before King of One. Yeah, the king, unless he can exchange queens quickly, then his king is going to be in a lot of trouble. I don't really see it. Ninety-five. I got Rook D One. So he gives a check. Just gonna sidestep with the king. But this king is a lot less safe than this one. So I think this is um, this is very good for me. Yeah, obviously if Daniel wanted to do this, he would be great. Since he's got he's got oodles of charisma and an entertaining style and as well as being extremely strong. Can I take this? B6. A3. I don't know, queen A5. Rook D1, he starts walking this way. Mm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Let's maybe go rook c1 instead. Make sure his king doesn't run away. Next I probably want h4, rook h3 to develop. Uh, 
Oh, he's wearing the um, Balenciaga shirt he always wears. That is shocking. Oh, so he's intending this. I missed that. Maybe I haven't played this very precisely then. Okay, let's go a3. For more for lack of alternatives than anything else. Queen a4. Yeah, what? Maybe there was nothing special, but I feel like I could have gotten something more. Okay, for the lack of alternatives, let's grab a pawn. So I'm taking, then grabbing D d8 and a7. But I feel like he should be able to equalize here somehow with concrete play. Probably starting with b6, I would guess, then bishop b8, escaping with the bishop. Rook c6, maybe. Yeah, let's go g3. Maybe not. G3, knight, G4. So knowing, oh, this one, now I think I have chances. So my bishop gets here. Then it's attacking B6 and defending F2. D7. Okay, let's go King G2. I don't know what King D7 was all about. I think I'm consolidating now. He will get a good knight on G4, so it won't be or E4, but it, so it won't be easy to convert. But I'm clearly much much better now. King F3. It's not so easy to untangle, maybe. Rook d3, maybe. Not not sure this move does a whole lot, but it's a move. Yeah, I wanted. Probably should go back and then rook b3. Yeah, now rook b3. And there's no fork. Now I think I'm making some progress. Try and stymie his pawns, test him a little bit. Oh, I thought he would go to e4. Now I, I think I'm just, I'm, I'm probably just winning. Okay, not easy still. Oh, that was close. I'm very close to flagging there. Very close. Okay, gotta play a lot faster. Tense. Very, very tense. Check. Bring the king, finally. Oh, there's a fork. It's bad news. Okay. Now, now I'm, um, everything's protected and I should be, should be winning quite comfortably, bishop d4. Let's do a check. Take a pawn. 
Let's see, two, I got king a two. Bishop e6 now. Check, I start going with the king again. King c4, rook b6, yeah, this doesn't work. Now I got b7. And the pawn queens. Wow. 